And we are back from where we left off. Let's do this. So as you can tell... Yeah. I've had that for a bit. So... So... I'm currently behind on levels. So I'm gonna go to a different spot that has higher level enemies. Ah, great, my tablet. What is it you want, tablets? Twitch. It's always Twitch. I really need to turn off my notification sounds on that tablet. Here we go. Yeah, that was definitely worth that. Ooh. That combo. 78 combo. Just off one. Oh yeah, one time on the different character, I managed to get up to 108 combo. So, insane skill. Not to mention, there are different characters like mages and such, as Slendy explained in the last video. And we're just currently farming for levels. And I'm just currently gathering up a lot of money. So, yeah. This is going to be a, quite a fun experience. So, yeah. Let's see if the ballers respond yet. Yes, they have. Alright. Okay, don't take too much damage from these guys. So yeah. Okay, I need to start getting my skills now. So skill, which is button K, which I did not use button K. As you can tell, there's an SP point system, or skill point system, in which you can put your po skill points into to and have a, yeah have a better character. Right now I need to be level 5 before I start getting good skills. But for now I shall do two upgrades on that and that'll be the, a little bit extra damage for that skill. Ooh. There we go. Yeah. I'm level 5. I'm catching up. I'm almost level 7. I'm finally going to check out my first skill. Oh my god. And there is a way to chain my skills into my attacks. Like, upon sending an enemy flying away from me, I can draw him back in using my sphere move, uh, attack, which is called energy absorption. Now, I'm going to switch those around because I want the least costing MP first, which will make it easier on me to do 
this a lot faster. And I just wiped them all out in one hit. I don't know, understand why I'm the slowest, though, to level up. There we go. Currently working on getting that guy down here. Follow me down. Stupid thing. Okay. Screw it. There. I just got a whole bunch of ED off that guy. Yeah, uh, me being short range, my spear can also do piercing at a short distance. So, yeah. I've been recording for six minutes now. Same as last video, 950 mark. I will do the end of that video and such. And, uh,. Also, if you cannot hear me, just tell me in the comments section, or I'll listen to my own video, actually. And I'll increase the sound level of my video to help with my uh, viewers who need better volume. I'm not even there yet. Ooh, there's a heavy over here. Heavyweight. I was hoping to do an energy absorption to help me bring him over here. Haha, okay. <laughs> I killed you. And I am now level 6. So the next dungeon we'll be going... Well, the dungeon that we'll be going into upon hitting level 7 is... Tree of L. Tree of L, as he said. So, yeah. My skills currently are pretty good for this set. Also, there are many different moves for a character that benefit the character themselves. Like I just did? Well, not always. You have a better chance of doing criticals, though. Like, I just... Yeah. And then if you... And you'll see in the top right next to your thing, it'll tell you how much longer your awakening lasts. Well, top left. No, for me it's top left hand corner. Oh yeah. There's also a timer on above the awakening bar. Yeah. Underneath the picture is a few orbs in which as you do more damage, they start to fill up. And the third one upon me filling it up will end up me being able to do my nine tails form. Which is called awesome. Yeah. And I just wiped out more board bars, yeah. I'm all. <laughs> 